Thank you to Mehek who suggested this question. Let's jump right in. In triangle ABC, angle CAD is 135 degrees, angle ABC is 30 degrees, and angle BCA is 15 degrees. If AB is equal to 6, what is the area of triangle ABC? So here's a picture of triangle ABC. The trick is to actually extend AB and have it meet at a perpendicular line that passes through point C, meaning there is a right angle. We can call this point D. Now let's find angles DCA and DAC. To find angle DAC, we have a straight line at DAB, which means angle A is 180 degrees, which means angle DAC is 180 minus 135, or 45 degrees. Because in triangle DCA, one angle is 90 and one angle is 45, we also know that the last angle is 45 degrees. Because two angles of the right triangle are 45 degrees, we can say that the two legs of the triangle are equal because of 45, 45, 90 right triangle properties. This triangle, triangle DBC, is a 30, 60, 90 right triangle because one of the angles is 30, another is 60, and another is 90. The ratios of the lengths of these sides are 1 to root 3 to 2. This means that the legs x and x plus 6 are in ratio of 1 to root 3. To solve for x, we must balance the ratios. To do that, we multiply by root 3 on the x side and by 1 on the x plus 6 side. This gives us x root 3 is equal to x plus 6. This means that x root 3 minus x is equal to 6. We can take out x common to get x times the square root of 3 minus 1 is equal to 6. Okay, we can move this over here. We can now multiply by the conjugate of root 3 minus 1 on both sides. Now we get x times root 3 minus 1 times root 3 plus 1 is equal to 6 times root 3 plus 1. By difference of squares, we get x times 3 minus 1 is equal to 6 root 3 plus 6. This means that 2x is equal to 6 root 3 plus 6, or x is equal to 3 root 3 plus 3. So here we have our extended triangle. We have our base, 6, and our height, 3 root 3 plus 3. The formula for the area of a triangle is base times height over 2. So for us, it's 6 times 3 root 3 plus 3 over 2. This is equal to 9 plus 9 root 3. And that is the correct answer. We can now consider this problem solved. Watch for my next video, which is about special right triangle concepts that we used in this video. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share the videos with your friends, and comment down below any questions you have about math, any questions you have about my videos, or comment anything in general. Um, other than that, yep, I'll see you on the next episode. Bye!